Hi, and welcome to Limestone Landscape Revision with Mr. Mercer. In this example, we're going to go through the basics of Limestone Landscape feature recognition on an OS map. Um, the first thing to deal with is that um, you might see uh, these maps at different scales in your exam. It's not uncommon. Um, the map you're looking at right now is a 1 to 50,000 map. We'll also look at an example of a 1 to 25,000 map. Um, Spotting limestone features is easy, so I'm going to go through these quite briefly, really. Um, the first feature to look for, the features to look for, are the ones which are actually written in English on the map. Um, so, for example, you can see here we have Twistleton scars. Uh, the word scars is enough of a clue for you to be able to say that that is a limestone scar. Here is raven scar on the map. Uh, again, the word scar is a fairly hefty clue. Good map work, though, relies on you being able to give a little bit more detail about the features. If we work on the assumption that each grid square is a kilometre long, then you could suggest that this scar, Raven Scar, is approximately two kilometres long. It's this kind of additional detail that will make your answer stand out. When you're doing map work and you've found one feature, then cast around that area to see if you can find any more because you're probably in the right area and look right next door we find white scar cave a cave is a feature of limestone of limestone landscape and so you could give it an appropriate reference remember that using the name of a feature for example white scar cave is also good map evidence and works just as well as using a grid reference the next feature that you should be able to identify is a limestone pavement. Now, limestone pavements generally are not called limestone pavement on the map, unfortunately. Um, there's one here that you can see my mouse arrow moving over, but there's also one up here. What you're looking for are, are what you're looking for are rock or outcrop um, symbols on a flat or flattish surface. So here, at Twistled and Scars, we have rock outcrop symbols that are on a very steep surface, making them cliffs. But here, we have rock outcrop symbols on a flat surface, making it a limestone pavement. Okay, uh, the next feature, easy feature to spot, mainly because it's labelled in English, are potholes. These are holes that dive down into the limestone, where joints have been um, widened from uh, carbonation. Uh, grid referencing the potholes is a good idea. You could either, either refer to an area of potholes or try to six-figure grid reference each or one of those individual potholes that you see. Some trickier features to spot might include um, intermittent drainage. It's only tricky because many candidates forget to mention it. Here we see a stream that, quite randomly it would seem, starts and then mysteriously stops again. Here's another one that starts and mysteriously stops. That's because it is disappearing down into a gap or crack within the limestone. That's called intermittent drainage. Where that intermittent drainage disappears down through the limestone pavement, trickles down through the joints, along through the bedding planes, it reappears down here at the bottom of the limestone scar. In the exam, if you look along the bottom of limestone scars, you'll find rivers appearing quite suddenly out of the bottom of the scar. Here's one, and I could call that a resurgent stream, because that's a stream that is resurging out of the bottom of the, the limestone scar. So, so far we've found a cave, a scar, a pavement, some potholes, some intermittent drainage, and some resur resurgent streams. Um, together with grid references, you're looking at around about eight marks. And remember, if you can provide some details, like maybe making a comparison between one area of limestone being smaller than another area of limestone, or one scar being longer than another scar, that's a way of picking up perhaps an additional mark. I'm going to change scale of map now. And you can see here that these maps now look significantly different, mainly in their colour scheme. The only reason I do that is just to make you aware that you could see a different scale of map. There's nothing to be alarmed about this. Your map work skills will serve you just as well. 
Here you can see resurgent streams appearing out the bottom of Twistleton Scar. There's the scar, stretching along there. And here are the resurgent streams coming out the bottom of the scar. The SPR stands for spring. There's a cave, you can clearly see that written on. That's good map evidence. And one final feature what I want, that I'd like to draw your attention to, somewhere over here, there we are, are areas of shakeholes. Shakeholes are um, partially collapsed sinkholes. They're areas where the limestone is collapsing into um, a, an area of weakness within the limestone itself. And that depression or area of depressions is called a shake hole or area of shake holes. Um, okay, that's the main features of limestone. And um, as I say, what you want to do is concentrate on um, trying to join up as much of your map work as possible. Once you've found a limestone pavement, cast your eye around that area looking for other features. Um, stay calm and the features will be there. Limestone map works very, very straightforward. All you need to do really is look for the names on the map um, with the obvious exception of limestone pavement itself. Okay, good luck and I hope that helped.